your questions we go this morning about veterans' health care needs and the way the state is trying to change care. Let's start with a question here from Mike. We'll pull it up here on the screen for you. He says, I appreciate the effort, but this is a federal issue. The main fix needs to be allowing more vets to seek private care while the VA concentrates on PTSD, which is the most qualified to identify and treat. So I guess my question here is, what can the state really do when it comes to health care? Well, that's actually part of the the process is what we're going to be doing is recommending at the federal level how they incorporate and make it more of a private public partnership. So what he alluded to, what Mike alluded to on the private sector access and things like that, that's exactly what we're doing. That's why we're needing the survey and those kind of input and comments is what we need. Uh, uh, the state alone won't be doing this alone. It'll be in conjunction with the federal government. So it will be a partnership between the state and the federal government, as well as private sector uh, healthcare uh, facilities and, sure. and individuals. Now, Pete, you're a former head of the Department of Veterans mm -hmm. Affairs. So what, mm -hmm. at a state level right now, do, do we do versus what the federal government okay. does? At the state level right now, what Oklahoma is responsible for are the veterans centers, the long-term okay. nursing care facilities, of which we now have seven of them around the state. It uh, handles about 1,423 beds, and there's still waiting lists uh, for veterans of almost 100 per facility throughout the state of Oklahoma. So private nursing care is an issue. Also, mental health care issue, mm -hmm. home health issue, hospice, uh, uh, rehabilitative services, uh, various therapies, speech, occupational therapies, uh, all of those kinds of things. All of these are going to be incorporated emergent care. All of these things are incorporated to improve the access to those services for veterans through this pilot program. Okay, so you'll be sharing it with yeah. the federal oh, government. Yeah. And, yeah. and an equity question or issue as well too. Oklahoma is number eight in the nation with 400,000 veterans, mm -hmm. yet we're number 18 in funding from the federal government mm -hmm. and veteran support. Mm -hmm. So as we move forward on this, one of the obvious areas that would be explored is in what areas can the VA use additional uh, help from the federal government in providing some of those health care providers, like especially psychiatrists and mental health uh, practitioners. Sure. Okay, great. I want to get to this next question here. This is coming in from David this morning. Uh, he is asking, or he's saying rather, these are the men who have put their lives on the line to protect the freedoms and rights of millions of people they didn't even know. My question would be, why aren't all their health issues pressing? I guess he's getting to the question of uh, why are we trying to figure out what, what is the most pressing need versus just trying to treat everything as, as it is important? Well, and again, that's part of the long range goal of this. What we have to understand is that the VA was, and this is the federal VA, was created in 1930. The last major renovation within the system was after World War II. We didn't even have a major renovation after the Vietnam era, which is my era. Uh, the point being, what we've wound up with is layer upon layer of, of, of attempts to try to provide service and what we need to do is simplify the system and through their participation and other veterans participation into this survey and program, we're going to be able to make those kinds of recommendations. Okay. And real quick, I do want to get to this last question mm -hmm. here from Rick because you touched upon it. Rick asked, will Oklahoma Veterans Affairs ever allow veterans to choose their doctor? You mentioned the public-private partnerships. Is more choice part of what you guys are looking at as well? Not only more choice, we want that to be the most choice. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is all about the veteran and them being able to go where they want to go to receive the health care that they need. Okay, Pete Reed and Dr. Mark Kinders, appreciate your time today, really important topic. And I want to mention real quick, if we can pull this up for people, uh, you can take the 10 survey online, okvetshealth.com, and the phone number there on the screen as well, uh, if you'd like to take the survey by phone.